The service of Hispanic women in the Army has a rich and diverse history that begins in earnest during World War II. Facing a two-front war and a critical manpower shortage, the Army decided to enlist women in the Women's Army Corps. These WACs, as they were called, would assume non-combat roles and thus free a man to fight. Hispanic women were among this pioneering group, with one special company formed in Puerto Rico. A WAC recruiting campaign on the island in the fall of 1944 resulted in 200 women being selected out of a pool of 1,500 for service in the Women's Army Corps. The entrance requirements were rigorous, and each woman was required to pass an exam which was entirely in English. Those selected represented many professions – teachers, office workers, translators, and even a lawyer. The majority of these Puerto Rican WACs were assembled into a unit that was flown by Army Air Transport to Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia for basic training. There they also received specialized training as clerks and were then assigned to the Army Embarkation Post Office located on Lexington Avenue in Manhattan, New York. When interviewed, these women emphatically voiced the pride they felt in serving and wearing a WAC uniform. Interestingly, many of the Puerto Rican women noted that they had never worn wool before, so their winter olive drab uniforms were quite a novelty. One aspect of life in World War II America was unfamiliar and discouraging to these women, that of a segregated society. Racial segregation was not practiced in Puerto Rico, yet when the 200 Puerto Rican WACs were selected, the darker complexion women were separated and sent to Fort Des Moines, Iowa to receive basic training with African American WACs. After getting out of the Army, some of these first Hispanic service women went on to work with the League of United Latin American Citizens to fight for civil rights over the next decades. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we salute the brave Puerto Rican women who answered the call and served in the Women's Army Corps during World War II.